Ah, uh, hi teacher. Sa video po na to, papakita ko sa inyo halimbawa no ating experiment format for this quarter 2 in science. Okay? So, ano ba yung halimbawa ng mga experiment na pwede nating gawin uh, sa ating mga estudyante for this second quarter, which is based sa most essential learning competency na tinuturo natin for this quarter. So, muli kasama ninyo si teacher Bid. At Okay? So, ito po yung halimbawa ng no, ating una experiment na may title na The Beginning. Okay, for grade 5, quarter 2, experiment 1, The Beginning. So, it must be, may mga titles sa na yung experiment ninyo, which is catchy and interesting for our student. So, of course, yung name and section. So, first part of an experiment sa ating elementary level is yung problem. Of course, we need to seek some, uh, kaya tayo nag-experiment, we are trying to discover something, or to seek an answer in some questions. Okay, or yung to attain our objectives para matutunan nila yung lesson. So, number one, what are the physical changes that happen during childhood to adolescence? Okay, kasi sa part ng ating lesson sa quarter 2, it's about puberty. So, ito yung mga materials, activity sheet, and charts. So, we have the procedure, of course, yung second part ng experiment, materials, then procedure. Sa procedure, there are some series of steps na kailangan nilang follow. Of course, make a timeline of important events in your life. Begin with the day you were born. Include the other events where we're told you and that took place in your life. Of course, you will record their observation. They will have their, uh, makakaroon sila ng remembering dito, na age ng 1 to 3, 4 to 8, and 9 to 12. Ano yung mga nangyari sa kanila or changes or development at that time or stages. Then, part also procedure, meron tayo mga questions, guide questions. What changes occur only in male? Which changes naman occur in female? And which changes are common to both female and Male. So, ito yung may mga sets of questions sila sasagutin. And the last four part naman ay yung conclusions. Dito naman sa conclusions, ang conclusion po, it's answer the problem, uh, questions or the problem. What are the physical changes that happen during childhood to adolescence? They will uh, uh, conclude or state here their answer about that changes, okay? Based on their observation. So, very simple lang yung ating experiment one. Next is for experiment 2. It's blooming to make more. Ito naman yung title niya. So, ano yung problem? What are the male and female parts of the reproductive organs of the flower? It's more about flower. The materials, we have gumamela flower, magnifying glass, cutter, or blade. So, ito yung mga procedures. Okay, dito may mga sets of procedures tayo na gagawin. Okay, so they will bring uh, yung mga materials na to. Of course, kapag nagpa-experiment kayo, dapat they will bring it before the experiment or the day before. So, you need to prepare them or it can be an assignment for them para ma-prepare nila. Ito yung mga procedure. They need to bring out materials assigned to you. Observe the gumamela flower carefully. Identify the external parts. They need to observe the observable parts or yung outside part. Gently pull out the metals to expose the male and female parts of the flower. Next, locate the female and male parts of the flower. <coughs> Next, observe the stamen that consists of the filament and the anther. Use a magnifying glass to look for pollen grains. And then five, observe the pistil that consists of the stigma, the style, and the ovary. And then they need to look closely to the ovary of the base uh, at the base of the pistil with a blade or knife cut the ovary horizontally. So, kapag doing an experiment, of course, with the guide of the teacher, they must do this procedure carefully or follow this with uh, uh, using uh, some safety mat, uh, uh, rule. Uh, yung dapat maayos at safe po yung paggamit nila sa mga materials. So, ito na yung mga observed guide questions. Which are the reproductive parts of the flower? What are the pollen, where are the pollen grain found? What is the function of the pollen grains? Ayan, yung mga sasagutan nila. Okay, so ito yung mga set of questions. Which part of the pollen? Based on their observation. At yung conclusion, what are the male and female parts of the reproductive organs of the flower? Ayan, so yun yung conclusion. So madali lang. So very easy lang po pag elementary level yung ating experiment. Should be appropriate to their level. Next is experiment bulb like me. Ano to? Name and section. How does an onion grow? Dito pa ito yung mga materials natin. Onion with roots, a glass, water, and a toothpick or matchstick. Procedure, get an onion and insert a toothpick near its top. 
put the onion with its roots below the glass filled with water. So, lalagay nila yung onion dun sa may top, sa may bottle with the water. Display the setup in the room. Observe the bulb each day. So, you observe nila. Answer the question on the day five of the week. So, ito na yung mga sasagutan nila. What appear on the onion after few weeks? If you, uh, if you plant this onion in a good soil, what will happen? So, yun yung question. And how does the onion reproduce? Based on that experiment, how does the onion reproduce? Okay? Next naman, ito yung experiment 4. The day after tomorrow. So, ang questions dito, ang problem, what are the reasons why you need to protect and serve conserve stories and intertidal zone? So, dito may mga pictures po tayo na ipapakita sa kanila yung mga damaged estuaries and intertidal zone. Pwede rin dito yung true videos, okay? Then, use procedure ito yun. Use the picture provided to complete the table. Infer the reason why we need to protect and conserve the estuaries and intertidal zone. So, they need to record the answer to the table below. So, ito yung ecosystem, causes of destruction, effects of destruction. So, estuaries, ano yung mga causes of destruction? Intertidal zone, ano yung mga causes, bakit nasira, ano ang magiging effects nito sa ating environment. So, it's more on about observation, their thoughts, based on their uh, video watch, ano yung mga pwedeng mangyari. So, maganda, sa, maganda dito yung point of hindi lang pictures, can be uh, video also, video clips. ba Very effective din yun. Next, what are the reasons why we need to protect and conserve the estuary? So, ilalagay po nila dyan. Ano ba yung reason? Bakit natin kailangan protektahan ang estuary? So, that is for guided questions. And then, for conclusion naman nila, ito yung for conclusion, what are the reasons why we need to protect and conserve the estuaries? Okay, bakit po, ano naman yung reason pa, ra, bakit natin kailangan protektahan ang estuaries? So, diyan naman ilalagay nila sa conclusion na part. Okay, so, Yan po yung mga sumasaklaw sa ating most essential learning competency in Science 5, Quarter 2. So, yan yung mga pwede maging experiment o halimbawa, very easy lang. So, madaling gawin, appropriate to their level, with the guidance of your teacher, ba So, mas madali. Uh, usually, ito, it's an individual type of experiment. Hindi naman siya grouping kasi pandemic pa din, of course, mas safe tayo with this kind of activity. There is a less interaction with the group. Okay? Kailangan individual activity pa rin kasi nga yung sa pandemic. Yeah, So, yan yung mga pwede nilang activities na gawin na based nga sa ating most essential learning competency. So, pwede nyo naman siya i-edit. Pwede po kayong mag-add ng mga activities. Diyan. Okay. Okay. Sa paggawa din po ng experiment, pwede naman po ito, uh, kuya re, ah, uh, Every other week, nag-experiment po tayo or every week, okay din yun. Kung pwede din siya maging partner ng inyong lesson plan, ilagay nyo siya sa lesson plan, yung mga, ito po, yung procedures, yan yung gagawin nila for the whole time of the science, pwede po yun. Pwede nyo lagay siya sa DLL nyo. So, maganda rin na mas marami a week, pwede po yun mag-experiment na related sa topic or lesson na tinuturo natin. Kung hindi man, pwede rin po makalima in one quarter. So, it's better then. It can be a part of their performance output. So, very biniano po to, Malaki matutulong sa grades nila. At it's a way for them to understand the lesson. Familiarize with the objectives. ba? It can be a way of application. ba? Maganda rin po siyang application sa learning. So, if na-discuss yung lesson, pwede po kayo nun and the next day mag-experiment naman. ba? So, there will be more uh, para ma-practice sila, ma-familiarize sa mga concepts, sa mga skills na tinuturo natin in science. ba Yung mga ideas, not only listening, ba Through application, they will learn. Matututo po sila doon. So, malaki yung magiging tulong ng experiment kaya gag pwede natin siyang gawin. Dahil pandemic nga, much better na individual sana yung mga activities. At if may mga gamit kayo sa mga laboratory ninyo, it's also better. Diba? It will be helpful for them. Diba? So, pwede nyo siyang i-compile para in the next school year, meron po kayong magamit din na experiment. Kasi same lang naman natin yung ati. So, kung sa procedure or sa activities may gusto pa kayong paggawa, you can edit or add on that. So, yun po. Uh, if gusto nyo naman magka-copy nito, message nyo po ako sa aking FB page, Teacher Bean. Okay? So, yan. So, madali lang. Appropriate lang talaga sa kanilang skills 
and interest or level. So, kung gusto nyo pang medyo difficult yung type of questions, pwede nyo pong dagdagan. Okay, depende naman yun. Of course, when we are making experiment, you safety nest, we consider it. Then, the materials is available. So, madali pong mahanap. Okay, hindi na totally gagastos. Of course, yung pinaka cheaper lang. But, beneficial for them in learning or having an experiment. So, ngayon po, kung may tanong kayo sa video na to, huwag po kayong maya. Type nyo lang sa comments sa baba. At if nagustuhan nyo itong video na to, please click the like button. So, maraming salamat. Till next time with Teacher Bean.